Hey Stampers, this is Sarah with StinkingCuteCards.com and I have a Thanksgiving card here for you today. Um, we're using the Vintage Leave Stamp Set. Um, that one is an older one from the catalog, the annual catalog and I haven't played with it for a while so I thought I would get that out and use it for some Thanksgiving cards. I'm sending a few of these to my downline this week and so I um, thought I would uh, show you how to do this one. It's really simple and um, goes together fairly quickly. And I've got a couple of just simple little tricks for you. So vintage leaves with the coordinating framelits. Um, it's awesome. And we are using um, a couple of different pieces of paper. Um, I am using the uh, wood grain designer series paper. And what I did was I cut it three inches by five at, um, three inches by five and a quarter and then cut off an inch and we're going to gap it. And the reason I did that was simply because that would allow me to get two cards out of a single six by six sheet of paper. And then we're going to use the glossy paper. This came back this year in the, uh, in the regular catalog and it's fun. I haven't played with it for a while and so let's go ahead and show you how quickly this one is to put together. Now I'm going to be stamping three leaves and I'm going to be die cutting them with the uh, framelits. And so what I've done is I've put them on a single block and kind of positioned them so that if you are smart about it, you can go ahead and ink it up as a single stamp. Okay. The problem with glossy is that it does not have two sides. Oh, I'm going to quit today. Look at that. All over my hands. The problem with glossy is that it does not have two sides, so we're going to go ahead and ink that up real well. And sometimes with a bigger stamp like that, I feel like I get better coverage from the back side. And I'm going to go ahead and 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000. Just make sure that, that that's <clears throat> evenly inked. All right, so there we have it. That one's a little strong over there, so I've got another one here that I like a little bit better for the that one. So... All right, but anyways, <clears throat> I digress. Once that is dried, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is we are just going to color that with the glossy. And I see that there's a little, let's turn that light a little bit. Okay, so what I've done is we're going to be using um, soft suede. We're going to be using crushed curry and Cajun craze. And we are going to color those. Now what I've done is because I've put it on one block, I've spaced it out far enough so that when you run it through the big shot, the framelits, you can cut it out all at once instead of having to run, you know, the big leaf, the middle leaf and the other leaf through, you can go ahead and um, kind of run that through strategically. So what I've done is I've also um, labeled each of my sponge daubers and all you got to do is just burnish that color on there. Um, I used the crushed curry for this leaf and when I, oh, let's see. That one wasn't dry. Make sure you give it time to dry. I would probably hit it with a heat tool for a second or even um, go ahead and use, um, give it a minute or two. This was obviously not long enough. Sorry about that. And then I'm just going to use some crushed curry and highlight it. And do the same thing with the lighter one. But because it's glossy paper, it does take a little bit longer to dry. And you just got to know that when you're going in and deal with it. Um, I was trying to rush things. You know, it's the day before Thanksgiving, and I have a few things to do today. Like maybe get these in the mail so that they aren't arriving before Chris arriving at Christmas time. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, run those through the, the Big Shot, and you are left with three leaves that are going to look just like that. Okay? So now it's just a matter of layering up our card. And what I've done is I'm going to use dimensionals on this. Uh, the little mini dimensionals or big dimensionals, it doesn't matter. And I'm just going to add okay. All right, so let's go ahead and add the designer paper to the Good thing I'm covering some of that. I've got ink all over my fingers. It's been one of those weeks. I burned the squash because I totally forgot about it yesterday. I got doing something here in the office. Got a little, started doing some stamping. And before I know it, I went back four hours later and my squash was completely black. So much for squash casserole. Good thing I have more. I'll have to start that this here shortly. 
So yes, it's been one of those weeks I locked myself out of the house chasing a raccoon off of our front porch on Monday night. So that was Tuesday was the squash. The raccoon was on Monday. So yeah, it's been a lot of fun around here. I need some stamping in my little stamp, little time in my happy place here. So, all right, and we're gonna add that right there to the bottom. So again, so that is one way that you can use just, you know, like you will get two cards when you cut it like this and give this little gap. You will get two cards out of a single piece of the six by six um, designer paper. So let's go ahead and add our saying there in the gap. And I, I do it afterwards just simply because um, that way I know kind of where to position it and I'm not guessing. The only problem is, is that you gotta make sure that you do it right. There we go, sweet. All right, let's add our lovely little leaves that we've die cut. Now I did wanna put this one on a dimensional, so we're gonna add that there. And stick that one right about here. We're gonna add this one here. And then we've got to add a ribbon. Um, one of the tricks that I can tell you is um, if you have time, like sitting in front of the TV or on when you're driving to the in-laws this week, um, tomorrow, um, take along some glue dots and some ribbon and you can go ahead and start making bows. So this way, what I usually do is I just make a bunch of them and put them right on the glue dots, um, like when I'm doing my classes or if I have a bunch of them that way when I'm getting to the, the bow, um, getting to the ribbon spot I can just go ahead and peel some off and stick it on so um, I don't know it's a great way to use time I'm just making a bunch of bows so all right so then it's just a matter of the inside and again I've got a little piece of a scrap here we're just going to add that right to the edge and we're just going to add the thinking of you and of course I did close that up obviously I need more coffee today that will be rectified here shortly. I did make myself a cup right before I started, so. And it's stinking crooked. All right. All right, just a matter of stamping the inside here. Let's make sure that it's straight. Um, our new Stamparatus will help me with this. I'm usually fairly decent, but some days it's, my bifocals play tricks on me, so. All right. Okay, I survived. The card looks great. Now it is hopefully going to see my mistakes. Yep, even I stick that there on the inside and close it up and voila, your card is finished, cute, and ready to be popped in the mail. Thanks again, Sarah with stinkingcutecards.com. Visit my website, www.stinkingcutecards.com for more inspiration. Thanks, bye.